So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create new style of 3D text animation with using Element 3D plugin. See guys, that's my beautiful and new style of 3D text effect. Guys, it's really simple and best tutorial for beginners. Okay, so now guys, I teach you how I create this type of composition. So guys, stop. And guys, I create new, new project. See guys, that's my new composition. And composition in the guys take anything and duration duration I like guys take 15 15 seconds is good for me so press ok so next one guys I use simple text text tool and type your letter like this and guys go to on alignment alignment check right okay see guys that's my culture go to on center pivot so control alt and press home button like this yes and next one guys i create circle background circle so create new solid layer solid layer like a path and press ok yes so guys select your path layer and use ellipse tool circle and guys holding shift and alt key and create circle like this yes simple guys right it's really simple and go to our up yeah Okay, and alignment. So, guys, select this path and align like this. And M letter align, yes, right? Okay, so next one, guys, I apply new solid layer and this time E3D. That's my E3D layer and hide both. Okay, so guys, select this E3D layer and go to effect and apply element 3D plugin. Yes, okay, so guys, go to on custom layer, custom text and mask and apply m letter that's my text and second one i apply path yes simple guys right okay so guys click on here screen setup and guys click on here that's my extrude like this so guys little bit down yes okay so see guys that's my text and second one guys i apply circle okay so guys select this m letter and rename like M. Yes. And guys, see that's my resolution. Path resolution I use extreme full. And guys, I apply bevel. So guys, go to on presets and bevel. See guys, that's my different different style of bevel. But guys, you can use any bevel. Like this. I like this one. So apply. Yeah. See guys, that's my bevel. Right. Okay. So now. Guys, this time I apply one more text and use extrude like this. Yeah, see guys, that's my text. And guys, go to on bevel. That's my second one. And use bevel outline check. Yes, right? It's simple. Okay, so now I select your bevel and rename like M2. Yes. And guys, go to on here. And guys, smaller like this. Yeah. And attach on here. Yes. See guys, that's my simple text. Little bit closer. Yes. Really good. Right. Okay. So now, guys, resolution use extreme. And next one, guys, duplicate this M letter. Duplicate. Press Ctrl D. Yes. See guys, that's my second one. And go to our mid and guys this time select bevel and guys extrude edge increase. Increase like this. Yes. Right. See guys it's really simple. Okay. So guys increase this bevel. And increase select this one. Increase. Yes. Really good. And guys go to our mid like this. Right, see guys, that's my simple text and really good. Okay, so now, guys, you can increase this little bit text. And increase, yes, good. And little bit back. Yes, good. See guys, that's my simple text. And next one, guys, I apply background. So guys, again, go to one extrude. And see guys, that's my text. But guys, I change circle. So guys go to on here and path resolution use extreme and see guys that's my custom path 
custom path I use two. Yes. Right. See guys, that's really simple. And now, guys, I apply same like this. Guys, you can apply different different style of bevel like this. Yes, simple. Drag and drop. And guys, see that's my paint, paint check. And guys, attach on here. And apply. Yes. Right, see, that's my text. Okay, so now guys, I change this time material. So guys, change material for this one. Plain, actually this one text. And see guys, that's my material. And go to on text, bevel. So guys, bevel is good. Bevel one is good. I like white color. And see guys, that's my golden to change bright light. Like this, yes. Right? And guys, upper letter, I apply gold material. This one. So, yes, I apply gold material like this. Yes, much better. Right? It's really good. Okay, so now, guys, remove unused material check and guys I create material for this one so this one and guys create new material yes and guys I like your material guys reflection see guys that's my reflection intensity I like 10 and apply to this one yes right simple okay so now guys I apply material for this one background so again presets and pro shader guys I use metal and guys I use this time metal brush texture so go to down and yeah I like this one so guys here and white one yes guys see that's my metal plate apply to plane yeah it's good see guys that's my background okay so now Guys, you can change material for this one. And guys, see, that's my bright light. Change like this. Yes. And guys, apply gold material like this. Actually, second one. Yes. Much better. See, guys, that's really good. And next one, guys, you can apply same metal material on this one. It's much better. Yes, see guys, that's my simple composition. It's really good. And now guys, I change HDRI environment. So go to again presets and environment, environment check. Guys, backlight. And guys, see that's my different, different style of HDRI light. So but I like this one. Yes. And guys, see that's my single light to change aqua for bright color. Yes, see guys, that's my really cool colors. And guys, go to an environment. And see guys, that's my brightness. Brightness increase. Like a 50 is good. 50. And saturation minus 100. And press OK. Yes. See guys, that's my final text effect. It's really good. And yeah, all is good. Right? OK. So now guys, press OK. Yeah. And right click guys, I take camera. And camera check. Guys, closer. So, closer. And guys, rotate your camera angle. Like this. Guys, closer. Yeah, much better. Guys, you can take any camera angle. Okay, so guys, now I create camera movement animation. So, press P. Animation check. Guys, that's a position. Position check. And guys, go to on like a 10 second. And press N. And guys, camera angle change. Like this. Yeah, guys, take any angle. Yeah. Right. Okay, so now guys, go to back and play. See guys, that's my simple camera movement animation. And now guys, I apply some light and glow effect on this text. Right. And guys, go to on here, E3D layer. And guys, go to on render, render setting. And physical environment is good. And lighting, guys, use aqua. This one, yes. 
and guys mb occlusion check guys quality i use high and guys intensity 5 yes and radius i like 2 yeah simple guys right that's my mb occlusion effect okay so now guys this time i apply adjustment clear and guys use glow effect and apply glow select this glow effect and apply on adjustment clear guys yes and threshold i like 100 and radius i like 70 is good and guys intensity i changed to 4 actually guys 2 is good right duplicate this glow so press ctrl d yes and guys see that's my glow radius i like 300 yes much better right it's really good okay so now i select this hdri actually adjustment clear and guys this time i apply exposure exposure select this exposure and apply to this one and exposure amount guys i like one yeah it's good and guys i change this glow i like one yes and next one guys i use depth of field effect so go to camera and guys camera option check see guys that's my depth of field check yes and guys aperture i like 50 50 is good yes and guys see that's my focus distance check focus distance guys manually change like 1000 yes it's good guys i changed to 900 yeah great guys aperture if i will increase like 100 is good 100 yes really cool and guys focus distance change like 1000 yes really good okay so now guys select this camera and press u focus distance so guys i go to like a four second and focus distance change like a 700 yes guys change yes 800 is good and guys go to on eight second focus distance change guys like 900 enter yes really cool and lastly guys go to like a 10 second and focus descent change 1000 yes really good see guys that's my cool 3d text effect it's really good and guys go to back and play guys take a little bit time for rendering preview right and guys also you can apply a ring on background so guys i apply a ring so guys go to our e3d layer and screen setup check yes and now guys this time and create extrude so guys go to on here and guys i change this custom path to change custom to yes and see guys that's my bevel and ink take bevel outline check and guys path resolution use extreme so guys apply to on here and change guys height like this see guys that's my outer ring and apply to this one and guys i changed material like gold material is good gold yes see guys that's really good that's my final one right okay so guys press ok okay so guys my animation is really cool and guys i show you my final preview yes see guys that's my beautiful lighting and beautiful material okay so guys lastly i apply light so guys use new solid layer that's my light and press ok okay so guys go to on top guys select your layer and guys i apply optical flare this one yes so guys click on option and guys i use different style of presets light presets so guys see that's my different different styles okay so guys i like simple blue like this and press ok yeah and guys go to on here like this yes and guys see that's my mode to change add yeah see guys that's my really cool composition 
okay so guys brightness you can change like a 75 and guys i change flicker flicker i like 30 and amount 30 so 30 yes and guys duplicate this light press ctrl d and guys change position select this optical flare tool so go to on here like this and up yes okay so guys select this light tool and i change brightness like 50 is good enter yes okay so guys go to back and play yes see guys that's my beautiful final text effect it's really looking so good right okay so guys that's it my final animation is finished so if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel see guys that's my final text effect and guys you can download presets and guys project 5 from my website thank you